everybody, it's Greener here, and I'm visited by a friend of mine, her, well actually, she's a friend and she's my niece, and what is your name? I'm Sweet Cece. And that's how you have it. Today, she's going to help me make uh, dry erase frames for her bedroom, because she's a teenager now, and she's in high school, and all those little baby whiteboards just don't do it, okay? Okay! You ready? Yes. All right. So this is what we're going to be making, okay? And we will show you step by step, and we will be right back. The things you're going to need are a frame, which I picked up art frames at the dollar store for just a buck. I got eight by tens. They're really cool. They're. Do you think they're really cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to need picture frames like this, okay? You're going to need card stock. It is heavier duty and stuff. So, and I did colors for this. Some people do just white because I'm going to show you how you can turn this into a double sided change kind of paper thing. And you can do this to many styles to change the background of your picture frame, besides using duct tape. Okay, you're going to need Velcro. I'll show you that at the end. <laughs> you know, I like big Velcro. Then you're going to need scissors and an ecto knife. You have to be careful. Your mom would kill me if I cut you or you cut yourself. We don't need emergencies, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to need pens of your choice, dry erase towards the end, <laughs> and then you're going to need duct tape. And we're going to go through the duct tape a little bit. Now, if you hadn't noticed, ours our solid colors right now. We're going to use some pattern colors for you guys, but solid colors, in my opinion, is the best. Just because if you're writing on it like this, black on, on a solid color, it'd be great. Darker colors, such as um, like black and brown and some maroons, some dark blues, they don't work well with a dark pen, but if you happen to have a white grease pen, then by all means, huh? Mm -hmm. Do black duct tape and use the white grease pen and you can do the same thing. So that is your choice. Okay, so you don't want a pattern like this. Okay, this is nifty. I love this pattern. She loves this pattern. Even her mother loves this pattern. Okay, so we all love this pattern. And thank God it's not pink. Hello, guess who likes pink? Mm-hmm. Yeah, by nightmare. Had to go and buy pink stuff. Mm, not good. <laughs> but uh, she likes purple the best. So, uh, just because this has the black in it, and we're writing with black, however, you could get away with this with a white grease pen, and you only get them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I have not seen them at Walmart, but that's okay. Now, these cost, um, this one, um, the pattern duct tape cost me about four to almost five bucks. My solid colors, you're looking at up to three bucks. So, you can have solid colors, or you know, patterns. Um, she's going to work with this one, and you're going to sit there and go, well, it's pretty dark. Nah. For this project, if she does it right, which she's smart enough, she, she makes straight A's. Okay, well, we're good. She'll be able to do this right. You can use gold. I'm going to use a silver. So, I will show you that in a little bit. Um, Sierra's going to do this step by step because uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> Besides, it's her uh, it's her thing and I want her to, to do it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So the first thing Sierra has done is she took off all the plastic that's usually on a picture frame that comes that. Now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna take the back off. Okay. Okay. Are we sure we're gonna take the back off? We're not gonna throw it away like Aunt Melissa does? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I had a I had a day, okay guys. Okay, you just set that aside apparently, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we do with this? We can throw this away. Wee! <laughs> Look, we got garbage cans. <laughs> okay. Apparently, Aunt Melissa's funny today. <laughs> okay. What else do we do? Okay. We very delicately take the glass out. Okay. Don't cut yourself. Your mother will kill me. Okay. Thank you. She will kill me, okay? She thinks I'm already hazardous prone. <laughs> Which I am. <laughs> if you only add out takes up all the stuff that I've cut myself on. <laughs> okay. Okay. We put the frame 
Sam to stop this side, and then you get your car stopped. Can I hold that for you? Yes. Okay. Now, are you lining it up for a reason? Yes, I'm lining it up to um, to see how but how long I really need the duct tape. Are you going to cut some of this paper off because of the? Yes, I am. Oh, okay, cool. So you'll take the so you'll just take the pen and just kind of outline it then, right? Okay. See, told you she's smart. I'd be like, what do we do next? Oh look, isn't she useful? Isn't she? I could do that with a straight with ruler. Let me tell ya, huh? Hamels is like, no, don't work. Okay. Do you set that aside or do you keep it on the thing? You put it back in. Oh, that moose in the eye. <laughs> She's dangerous with weapons. No, she's a good kid. Sometimes. When she does the dishes. Hey, I had to throw that in there. Okay, now what do we do, Miss Sarah? Now we cut off the edges. Well there. Do we do it on the outside of the line or the inside of the line? The inside of the line. Okay. I don't know which way I want to cut. <laughs> Emily says, shut up. <laughs> oh, by the way, her mom is behind the camera watching just in case I cut her daughter. Okay, it's not going to happen. Hopefully not going to work. But she's, yeah. She's behind the camera, so she's running it. We're going to have to get her, you know, if we do two or three of these like we normally do. We're going to have to get her a seat. Poor thing. She's not standing up like, come on, hurry up. <laughs> She is dangerous with those scissors like twice in a row she tried to cut me. Did I make you mad? <laughs> I don't mean to do it. She just likes playing her arms around like big old chibi. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> go, Miss Sweetie. Go, go. Okay. Sorry. And the wise words of my mother. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a perfectionist. We know this. What is my thing on this channel, everybody? I know you know. It's okay not to be perfect. <laughs> okay, now what do we do? We got our paper, and this is like, what, 8 by 10, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's, the frame is 8 by 10. Yes. Did everybody get that? 8 by 10. It'll be written right here. <laughs> okay. Um, now we... We're gonna have about five strips. Okay, how can you tell that it's five strips though? So do you put the, the tape down and then measure it? And then you put the paper back on it and see? Okay. Oh, here comes that Sharpie flicky thing. Don't, don't. I'm taking me away from her. She's not four, she's just dangerous. So, if you didn't want to measure it on the board, you know your paper is, what, 10 inches this way, right? Mm -hmm. So you would just measure out 10, ten inches. inches. 10 inches. Yes. So, since we have the lines on the board, Miss Sierra had started uh, hers at 15, because we're backwards, and she's going to cut it like, what, five? Five. Yes. Five. Okay. Mm. You make me nervous. <laughs> Sorry, I was in her light. Mm. Isn't that such a good hand? Just always in the way. <laughs> <laughs> she broke. <laughs> well, damn it, Bona. <laughs> All right, after we repaired the ecto knife that she broke, I thought she was going to cut me with it. No, she's just going to break it. So she's going to do like, what, four more? <laughs> and then we'll come back and we'll show you the next step. So, her ever so loving ecto knife, me and her are gonna come back. <laughs> okay, so Miss um, Sweetie here has got her five, right? Mm -hmm. I can count, right? Yes. Yes, it's five. Had to make sure. So what do we do now? Now we have to take the duct tape off of this 
and put it onto the cardstock. Card stock. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't look at me. She's she's helping me. Actually, I'm lazy making her do all the work. Now you want to get it as close as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Nicely said. <laughs> Unlike Miss Miss Sweetie here, who, who thinks everything has to be perfect. She's gonna hit me. <laughs> She's really gonna hit me. Okay. Now, if you have a pattern, say like this. Okay. I'm gonna ask you. Maybe you know. Maybe you don't. Would you line up the patterns, or would that not make a difference? You can, but you don't have to. So basically, if you want like a symmetrical thing, you can. Okay. Yes. Good answer. She got it right. So yes, you can line up your patterns, even if you have, say, like you have a, um, like a pattern like this where you're going to use a white and use pencil. You can line up the patterns. Okay. So. Well, continue. I'm sorry. I am rudely interrupted. Don't mind the, hand, the the shaking of the camera because they've got cats that think the camera is just so lovely to play with. Kind of like my house. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Now, after each one, you want to, you can over it a little bit, but you still have to get close enough to. So to you can it overlap it, at, lap it like an itty bitty bit, bit and then yeah. and then make sure you're your seams are sealed right here. Okay. Okay. Hey, this pattern's working because it's coming out. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. This gonna be a nice one. Boy, I like like I really know. <laughs> okay. If you, if you can't see, um, at the end of this, it wasn't quite, you know, five full ones. There was yeah. like maybe a fourth of an inch, maybe, about that left. We still have to cover it. Okay? Go, 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 gadget. <laughs> I just showed my age. How pathetic is that? Hey, look, Mom, she did it. <laughs> okay, now what do we do? Because we're going to have that big old thing on the back side hanging over. What do we do? You can cut it off with the, <laughs> the pokey thing. <laughs> the pokey thing she, she tried to like destroy. Okay, go. Oh, Remind me never to do sharp things with your daughter. <laughs> So if she's gonna hurt herself, and then, you know, you're gonna be like, "Oh, you killed my daughter." Oh, she would. Your mom would. Mm -hmm. Totally blame me. I can see it now. You're the big sister. You're supposed to be looking after her. What do? Your kid. It's not my week. I love you. What do we do with that? Uh, <gasps> you can do anything. <laughs> This is what she likes to do. <laughs> Just for your entertainment. No, we actually throw it away. Or save it for another project because, yeah. I don't do wasteful things. You guys know this. Looks like you're sticking to it. <laughs> you having issues there, girlfriend? <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Ooh, so not what you like. Mm -mm. Sorry. Sorry. Every time I make her laugh, she screws up. Sorry. 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 <laughs> On the next crap will be better. <laughs> did you cut all the way through it? I thought I did. <laughs> She's okay. Oh my god, she's gonna break my tip. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's not a lumberjack. You don't have to saw it, sweetie. <laughs> Please, you're, you're making me nervous. Can I, please, can I? I got it. <laughs> I'm, taking the, I'm taking the pokey thing away from her. Anxiety, go away. Okay, now what do we do? <laughs> Why did we use this board? So it can be more even and Actually, the real reason is, is we're working on a, a, a wood table that's really yeah, beautiful, that's and her mother would kill us if we scarred it up with a lot of things. That's now I'm going to tell you. <laughs> now what do we do, Miss Sierra? Mm -mm. Okay, now we take the frame and the... Okay. 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 This is where I'm going to interject just a minute. The reason we left, we used cardstock that's colored, was so that if you wanted to change correctly, you could put this side down and have it as your background for your your your, your erase board. But Miss Sierra, for now, is going to do the duct tape side. So, okay. go ahead. Okay. Just put it in. You just put it in like that. And put the background. Does it matter which side you put it up? No. Okay. <laughs> also, on your paper, you can use lettering, like sticker letters, or uh, you can actually, if you're creative enough, and I don't have a steady hand. You can do duct tape lettering that, that I have seen where it has sayings on top. Um, and then it gives you really a small place to write, which I don't really like. I like using the whole board. And, or they'll put like Monday, they'll have like seven of them, put Monday through Sunday, and use them as a weekly calendar up on the wall as a decoration. So now what do we do? Now we can... You need these? Yes. Okay. Nope. This now, how do you line it up? Do you, do you just put the pen down and do that and then try to figure out where you want to stick it? What, what, what do we do? Do you remember? <laughs> She's like, no, Amelia, I don't. <laughs> um, okay, what you do is, let me help you out. Give me the little dot. Okay. First of all, I put my fuzzy part of the Velcro onto the pen. And then I'm going to put this part onto the pen very lightly so that, I think lightly, so that it's sticky still. And then, where do you want to put it? Do you want to put it on the side, on the top, on the bottom, where? Um, on the bottom. On the bottom. So then Miss Sierra is just going to put it wherever she wants, right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, now take the pin off, baby. And you want to hold this down, just kind of press down into the grooves. Not a lot of it has to stay, you know, you don't have to have it perfect. Now put that back on and show them what it, what it, what it, what, what it, what it did for him. Okay, now set it up. Now this side, uh, this is one of the things that we, we wanted to show you. You can set it like this on a table. However, you could set it also this, well, okay, maybe this way, so that you write this way. Or you can, because it has two different brackets, to set it, you can put it on the wall so you can have a wall hanging. Okay, so what are you gonna write on it? Yeah, I'm a fud now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, she wrote, <laughs> hello everyone, that's all. <laughs> She's Elmer Fud. Did he do that's all folks? And she wrote her name. Now, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you have suggestions of what we could do to spruce it up more or different ideas, please leave a comment down below, somewhere down there. Oh, down there. And if you want to see what we do next week, hit that subscribe button, come on back, and I will have you on next week, right? Mm -hmm. We've got two more two more planned, I think. Yes. And then I get to get to yell at her mom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>
So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.